That's got to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. You don't think people have families here? It doesn't. Welcome to CSL TV. And we about to get into a crazy police cam footage of husband and wife being pulled over, drunk driving. As you can see, she all dressed up for the occasion. They was just out having dinner and drinks. But if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that button because it's free. You'll be doing a good deed by helping me out and also comment down below what you think about the video. And this is just a review, a reaction, as well as an informational channel. So hopefully the information will probably help you with someone out. And we just see what type of folks we gotta share this environment with. And I hope you on the other side who's watching this is a good person. But I do not like negativity because it's intolerable. Don't nobody want to tolerate it. Don't nobody want to hear all that dumb nonsense. And it just, ugh, you know, that's how it feels when people be negative. So with that being said, for those that's been rocking with me, thank you so much. I appreciate it because you could be somewhere else. But the few that's here, you're here with me. But anyway, I'm making this intro too damn long. And as always, let's get it. Try again. On March 12, 2024, officers pulled over a driver swerving dangerously, suspecting impairment. I'm Sergeant Connolly with the Key West Police. There's two reasons I'm stopping you. No lights. Okay. There's one. Sorry. The other, yeah. you almost yeah. hit the curb, and then you almost went into the left lane. Is there any legal reason for that? Absolutely not. Okay. License, registration, and insurance, please. It's a rental car. Okay. Why is your speech slurred? How much have you had to drink tonight, sir? Well, I've had a few, but... Um... Okay, go ahead and step out. How you doing? Right back over here. Yeah. Okay. You're exhibiting a couple of signs of impairment, okay? I'm just going to tell you. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah. Okay? I can hear it in your speech. I saw it in your driving yeah, pattern. I hear you. Okay. So you telling me that you had a few. How many is a few? Oh, to drive, yeah, right? Where are you from, sir? Connecticut. Connecticut? Okay. Where was your license? Did you have your license yep. with you? Okay. Tell me where it is before you reach right for it. Okay. Yep, go ahead and give it for me, please. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I can smell it coming off your breath, okay? So yep. all of these things that, that you're exhibiting are, again, <laughs> signs, signs of impairment. Where is it that you're staying? Saturday. So, I have some questions for you. You're not ready to leave. I'm going to advise you for what your, what your rights are, okay? Do you understand your rights? Get out of the car right now, ma'am. Don't get out of the car right now. That has nothing to do with anything. Shut the door. Go by then, I assume. Yeah. Okay. So, where were you drinking tonight? At the That's smoking tuna. Okay. Did you guys have dinner? Yeah. And some drinks? Okay. And how many drinks do you think you had? Four. Okay. So four four drinks, yeah. two Jack and Cokes, one gin and tonic, one beer. Okay. So I have three exercises for you, okay? Yeah. They're pretty easy. The first one is called the horizontal gaze nystagmus test. So what I'm going to have you do for this, I'm going to have you stand right over here. I'm going to have you stand with your feet together, arms down by your side, just like you're doing. Beautiful. So what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you look at the tip of my pen right here. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. I want you to follow the tip of my pen with just your eyes and don't move your head, okay? okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. All right. Here, keep your head nice and straight. There you go. Keep your head straight. Mm -hmm. Just following with your eyes. The man's continued poor performance on the sobriety test led to the firm conclusion that he had consumed an excessive amount of alcohol, rendering him unfit to drive safely. Zero being absolutely, completely sober, no drinks in your system at all. Ten being completely fall down drunk, sitting on the ground, holding onto the grass to keep from falling off the face of the earth. Where are you at in a zero to ten scale? Five. About a five? Okay. Do you have kids? You, I know you have one son. Okay. So, do you have grandkids? Yep. Okay. All right. So, do you feel that it would be safe to have your grandchildren in the car right now with you driving? I would say that um, I would not. I would not go out tonight if I was okay with my granddaughter. Well, he's in the uh, got my hands behind the back position. I know what that means. He kept turning his head, which was funny. You know what I'm saying? He was like, "Well." He turned his head too much. They ain't about to show us the rest of the shit because it was horrible 
on how he performed during the test procedure. So, um, with that being said, kids and gentlemen and everybody who's watching this, you don't drink and drive because would you ride? Think about it. You got to put yourself in a situation some people get messed up in. Just like when you're texting and driving, you shouldn't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? You up here licking back, fiddling, fumbling with stuff. You shouldn't be doing that because you can seriously hurt someone and the most important of all who you could be hurting is yourself because you're going to be in so much this and that whether it's from pain you know you hurting somebody or whatever the, whatever might occur for you not paying attention and being safe while being on these roads because these cars weigh thousands and thousands of pounds and only take seconds to kill someone okay all right Don, can I have you turn and face away from me? Face the Walgreens over there. Keep your hands behind your back. Walk yeah. over here just to the back yeah. of your car, okay? So where, where we're at right now is he's being arrested for DUI, okay? Okay. So you've probably had something to drink tonight too? Uh, yeah. Okay. So we can't let you drive away either. So you're going to have okay. to facilitate a ride, but it can't be in this vehicle. We're close yes, to there. We're yes, ma'am. Like My son is a, a police officer. I'm here? In Connecticut. Okay. If you want to work on getting a ride, we'll wait here and do it. Where's my husband? He's going to jail, man. Oh, come on. Really? Yes, ma'am. He's intoxicated driving. Okay, it's Key West. Really? That's got to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. You don't think people have families here and it's okay to drive drunk? Is that what you think? No. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Shut the it up. doesn't mean Key West... Okay, to drunk drive in Key West? Is no, that what you're saying? No, no. People drink and drive in Key West. And they get arrested for it. Yes, ma'am. It is against the okay, law. And it's had, very unsafe. He had a few drinks. He, uh, he's right. not out of his mind drunk. He's drunk. Work on getting yourself a ride. Unless you'd like to go with us. What do you mean? I mean, go to the drunk tank. Would you like to do that? If you have nobody to take care of you, we'll take you to the drunk tank. I suggest you work on getting yourself a ride. Oh, my God. Where's my husband? He's going to jail. Where is he? Where, what? He's in the police car and you're not going over there. Oh what, so work on getting car? yourself a ride. What police car? You're about to go in cuffs if you go over there. I, I'll go with him. You want to go to jail? We'll work on that. I'll go with him. Okay. She's she's likely going to go. Stay right there. Stay right Stop. there. Stop. You're about to go in cuffs. Okay. According to her. My son is a... No, okay. he's in the academy. He is not a cop. And that doesn't get you anything. So try again. Walk away. You want to go to jail? Yep. Okay. Take the purse off. Yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, no, it's a Oh my God! Let go of the purse. No. Yes. You don't no. get to hold on to it. Okay, let go. It's not okay. I need my phone. I it need. It will go okay. with my, you. I have, your husband going with you. Excuse me. I have daughters that I need to. No, 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 no. I have daughters that I need to get in touch with. You got yourself a charge. Congratulations. I have daughters that I need to talk to. Excuse me. You can call them from jail. Can I get my phone back? It'll be in your jail property. Can I can I can I, can I talk to my kids? When you get can to jail. Can I talk to my kids? When you get to jail. Get in. Okay. You stupid. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you ma'am. Stop and calm down. You're very classy. Calm down. Remember, Google five star review. The woman faced charges of resisting arrest while her husband was charged with DUI, resulting in both spending a night of their vacation behind bars. She definitely was a ride of that because she said, I want to go to jail. And then he said, all right, you're going to jail. We just talked to Dale about if your grandkids was in here, would you feel comfortable and safe with them in the backseat while you swerving and hitting curves? And you said no. So what do that tell us? Everybody that's watching this and the officers that you're not fit is safe to drive because you could have slightly, you know what I'm saying? And then she's so wasted and not thinking because alcohol do influence the brain. She said, I want to go to jail. Bitch, this ain't no damn bar. I know convention you about to go to and just to check out and you going to leave and tell your husband, let's go. No, baby, 
Y'all about to go and sit down. Y'all about to be charged. The car about to get towed. He gonna probably have to go to some classes. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, you gotta think about what that's gonna look about. The what that's gonna look on your record when your kids gotta come get you out. And then depending on your job, if y'all still working or whatever y'all, you know, profession is, that might not look good on that either. So y'all gotta be thinking about that shit when y'all put yourself in these type of situations. Cause uh, I don't know them. We just watching what they did. And you know, the police footage showed us what they did, which was their job. And this ain't no damn Connecticut, baby. This is Florida. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>